in the kitchen today making a video on strawberry shortcake. Oh, I should probably brush my hair. Hmm. Hi guys, welcome to my channel and we're at my house in my kitchen. And on this video, we're making strawberry shortcake. I'm in the mood for some yummy strawberry shortcake. It's going to be fast and easy because I don't have much time. But I promise you, it's a showstopper. And if you're pressed for time, you can buy the cake portion already made, like what we're doing today. Whether they're the little individual ones or the whole angel food cake, whatever ones you like. Why would I tell you to buy pre-made cake? Well, if you're in a rush and you don't have much time, some of them you can find that are pretty good. But what you'll never hear me say is to buy pre-made whipped cream. Yuck, because that's disgusting. And why? Wait till you see how easy it is to make and how delicious it is. And with my little twist on it that makes it extra special, extra. I'll share my recipe of the cake portion in another video. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. This will help me out so much. <gasps> okay, so let's get started. These are all the ingredients that we'll be using today. And here we go. In the KitchenAid mixer, but of course you can use any mixer you have, we are going to whisk heavy cream. The difference between light and heavy cream is the fat content. Heavy is higher, light is lower. When looking for the perfect cream to whip, get heavy cream. The higher fat is better. Buying cream could be confusing with the word whipping because this word could be in both heavy and light cream. And sometimes it's not even specified which one. Like if it says just whipping cream, this means it's light cream. So good rule of thumb, look for the word heavy when buying, then you're good. Two cups of heavy cream. I like starting my mixer till it gets a little frothy. Then I add the powdered sugar. Half a cup, sifted and mixed together. And now for the flavor to make it extra. Yay! Grand Marnier. Ooh. I love Grand Marnier. I use two teaspoons and I like to add just a little vanilla extract, only a half a teaspoon. The combos have them. If you're going to eat them as soon as you make them, you can skip this next step, adding unflavored gelatin to stabilize your whipped cream so that it doesn't lose its beautiful form. About four tablespoons of water, sprinkle one teaspoon of gelatin, microwave five seconds, Stir. If it's not all dissolved, microwave another five seconds. Stir to let cool for a little. Add to your mixture slowly till evenly mixed in. Now it's time to whip on high speed. This takes a little time, but make sure that you're standing there watching and stop the mixer as soon as it stiffens. If not, it'll turn to butter and that's for another video. Oh my goodness. Look. Yummy. So perfect. Mm. Yummy. Wash your strawberries well. I like to rip off the greens with my fingers and then split it open. Just in case there's any little critters hiding. Strawberries are low calorie, low sugar, sodium free, fat free, cholesterol free, high fiber with high water content. They're loaded with vitamins with lots of vitamin C, high levels of antioxidants, good source of manganese and potassium. They help with building a strong immune system, fighting off colds and sickness. It has anti-inflammatory properties, very good for the heart, good source of folate and folic acid. So it's good while pregnant. It's also great for the skin. Mash strawberries and put it on your face as a mask for 10 to 15 minutes. It will make you beautifully soft. Yay! Cut up your strawberries in pieces. Not too small. You still want to see the strawberry shape. Just make them look pretty. 
also make sure they're ripe and sweet because if they don't taste good this way by themselves, they won't taste good in your finished dish. But I mean, you can cheat sometimes and add a little sprinkle of sugar on them. But of course, nothing compares to them ripening naturally. Now for the cake portion. In another video, I'll share my homemade recipe. But for now, we bought it already made. It could be an angel food cake or it's these dessert shells that are pretty popular. And that's what we're using today. Sometimes I like to use baking pans from my workspace. I use them for everything. And today we're using them to assemble our masterpieces. Okay guys, now grab your yummy whipped cream. Add a little to the bottom of each one. Then for your strawberries. And don't be stingy. Make it evenly distributed so there's a strawberry with every bite. A little more whipped cream on top. Now you're adding more strawberries. This time, place them to look pretty. We're also using sliced almonds. This adds a wonderful crunch. Taking groups of these thin slices and adding them around the strawberries sliding them gently into the whipped cream so that they're sticking out just like little petals. Beautiful. Then the zest of an orange. I use two different types of graters. The zest, I use the fine grater. And I also like using the bigger hole grater to add little ribbons. I garnish with both. Well, because it just looks pretty. And lastly, you're going to finish it off by adding sifted powdered sugar to make it extra special and to add a touch more sweetness. Decide on how you want to present it. Here I'm using a silver tray and I like to use a doily. Sophia! Vinny qua manja! Okay guys, so that's it. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with someone that you think would like this recipe. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna give this a try or if you did and how it turned out. See you guys next time and don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Now I'm getting ready to eat.